Hey, welcome back. It's the Pokey Hive with a brand new video on a brand new product. It is a Target exclusive in this version. We have the VMAX Dragons Premium Collection Box, which features not only Rayquaza, but on the back side, Duraludon. So, something that's never been printed this way before. It is a very nicely designed box. We have packs and cards on both sides. Um, so an interesting way to display the box. Uh, we'll take a look at the side here. We have 11 total Pokemon booster packs. We have two V cards, two V Max. These are reprints from Evolving Skies. And the first time these have been printed, the Rayquaza and Duraludon V Max um, jumbos. So we'll see what the packs are inside. We'll take a look, we'll open them up, see if we get anything good. Um, but just as far as the actual box itself, it's a premium collection box and it does have some nice features, some nice texture to it. We have, um, again, some reprint promos. Duraludon's not too exciting to a lot of people, but as far as TCG play, it is a very, very important set. Um, the jumbos are exciting to a few people as well. Uh, it retails for $59.99 on Target, and I do believe they're going to be other prints of just strictly the Duraludon version and uh, Rayquaza version, based on what I saw on Card Market in Europe, but I could be wrong. But we're going to go ahead and open it up. We'll take a look at everything inside and uh, kind of go from there. So I don't know the best way to go about it, but we'll start from the side here got some good glue to it, so it shouldn't be a box that can be easily tampered with or resealed. Alright, so we have two sides here. We're going to take out the whole thing, and it's a clamshell. So, we'll see what happens. They kind of mesh together each side. We'll do one side at a time. We'll start, I guess, with the Dura loot on. And so, that's how they're kind of pressed together while in the cardboard to stay true. We have our two promos here. We've got the Duraludon VMAX and Duraludon V, which I actually really do like that artwork there. It's uh, not everybody's favorite dragon type, but it is a good newer Pokemon. We have a Evolving Skies hiding behind the Jumbos, which a lot of people were disappointed to see that they didn't think Evolving Skies were in here. So we have Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, Fusion Strike, my favorite set, well, one of my favorite sets, and Brilliant Stars. We'll put those off to the side. We'll open up this one and see if there's any more sneak packs. I don't think there's going to be. We got Rayquaza V and VMAX straight from Evolving Skies. A very nice jumbo card here so i think there's going to be some rayquaza fans that maybe <laughs> get that graded or encased we'll take out the remainder of the packs so it looks like we only got one evolving skies which is still a little disappointing but it's better than none and again got fusion strikes so we're gonna run through these and uh kind of see what happens for us i'm gonna put this back here so we reminder of what we're doing here we have a nice little stack here, 11 packs. So if you, you know, do the math, 11 packs for 60 bucks is not your best value as far as pack hunting. But despite that, as far as the sealed collection goes, aside from it being a, uh, an exclusive box, those are all perks that kind of help make it worth your while if you decide to go that route. So we got a Poliwag to start, Gligar, Gloomy, Mawile, Slugma, an Enamorous V from Trainer Gallery. This is a nice one. Love the texture on these cards. And a Volo Hollow Trainer. So not bad start. Two hits in one pack. I love these new packs that have a nice reverse opportunity for Trainer Gallery or other hits like the Radiance. So we're gonna go ahead and start with an Eevee here. I don't think we showed the uh, code card last time, so we'll make sure we get it in there in case anybody is playing at home. 
We got Scyther, Togekiss, and a Rapidash non-holo rare from Astral Radiance. I think as far as newer sets, Astral Radiance might be my least favorite, and that's not to say it's a trash set by any means, but I think uh, I think there's better. I really, really high on Fusion Strike right now. Um, obviously, people like Brilliant Stars, people like Evolving Skies, but between Silver Tempest, Fusion Strike, and even maybe Chilling Rain, I think that there's some better opportunities for some fun pulls out there. We got Togepi, Combi, Chetot, Cricketon, Reverse, and a Reggie Eleki non hollow rare. So Astral Radiance again disappoints us again. We'll move on to the Brilliant Stars. We have the Arceus artwork. Maybe we could pull one. You never know. Let's see. We got something back there. That's all I know. Halucha. Throw. Magmar. Love that artwork. Star you. We got Reverse Golurk. And a beautiful full art. Zamazenta V. So that's a nice pull. It's uh, not the best full art we could have pulled from there. Because the Charizard could have been in there. But I'm excited about that Zamazenta. It's not always Charizard or Bust. We have Fusion Strike. Absolutely love the hits in Fusion Strike. Unfortunately, they're a little bit hard to pull, and that's why some people are down on Fusion Strike, but I'm a big fan. We got Grubbin, Rotom, oh, Smeargle, and Men in Reverse. Meloetta, non hollow Rare. All right. So we have Fusion Strike. And we're moving on to Lost Origins. Ooh, that was a weird pull. All right, so do we have something in there? Oh, oh, maybe not. Zoru, Zoru, <laughs> Pineapple, Gumi, Bronzer. <gasps> we do have a Trainer Gallery. We got Snover and Bennett. Big Bennett fan. Not something I grew up with, but we got Bar, Barackle, and Bennett. So a two-hit pack out of Lost Origin. We'll put that to the side, see what else we can find in here. So Lost Origin had some hits. We got two more Astral Radiance. To me, this is, I don't want to say the Steam Siege of Sword and Shield because it's not, but it's not super fun for me. I don't know. There's still great cards, cards that are from, you know, the artwork from the game, Legends of Arceus, which is a great game, and I'd love to see it. We got a Thievil Reverse and a Hisuian Braviary, non hollow rare. So all those things are great. You have some nice chase cards, like your alternate arts and everything else. But I don't know. There's something lacking for me specifically, so... Hard to say what it is. There's nothing, none of my favorite Pokemon, maybe. I don't know. But we're starting out with a Rufflet, Ponyta, Rowlet, Bronzer. We got Oshawan and a Reverse Reggie Drago. I didn't realize both Reggies were in recent sets, and now they're kind of getting featured in Magnezone Hollow Rare, getting featured in the, uh, the new set Silver Tempest, as well as adding them to the mix for the Crown Zenith pile. So we have Brilliant Stars, and we got two other packs I like, Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies. Bye. Wish me luck on the last three packs. We haven't crushed it quite yet. Axew, Nose Pass, Snorunt. We got a Lapras Reverse. Really liking that reverse artwork. That's beautiful. I don't know the artist on that one, but I really dig it. So we got a Tornadus non hollow rare. All right, two packs left. Can we pull something here for us? To be determined, but we've had some good luck in some and some not great luck in others. We do have a hit here. So hopefully we can get something 
interesting at least. We got Snubble, Reverse Growlithe, and for our hit, oh, I lied. Hmm. I swear I saw something. Maybe I was wrong. That's okay. Fusion Strike. Oh, man, I thought I saw some <laughs> kind of uh, sparkly down here. That's crazy. I've been fooled. I've been had by Fusion Strike. That's... I really was like, there's something coming here. Interesting. I don't have a pretty good eye for it, but here we go. Last pack of magic. We'll see. We got Tentacool, Hop It, Dino, Mareep. Ooh, we got Rubber Gloves and a non hollow Smeargle to finish us off. And so goes to show you on something like this, it's better off sealed than perhaps opening it because of how cool some of the sealed features are um, when you buy a $60 box for 11 packs and you get maybe $10 worth of cards, you know. That's part of the gamble, part of playing the game. We had some fun. We didn't hit any chase cards, but what we did was explore a new box. Target exclusive, $59.99. We got our jumbos, we got our reprint arts, and uh, we'll see if we can hit some better better pools next time. But if y'all have any questions about it, definitely comment. If you liked my video, please give me a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon on the next one. Have a good one.